Alright, the KN44. So, you are able to choose 5 attachments in total. From what I've experienced in the last one day of playing around with Gunsmith, Gunsmith is all about making trade-offs. You are pretty much choosing trade-offs between damage range, ADS speed, movement speed, and recoil. You see, for most attachments, there are some trade-offs. Look at the tactical suppressor for example. It suppresses your gun, but in exchange, you lose ADS speed and ADS movement speed. The monolithic suppressor on the other hand, suppresses your gun and increases your damage range. But look at the number of trade-offs you must make when you put on the monolithic suppressor. There are a lot. So nothing is free. When you are putting on an attachment, you must consider the benefit as well as the trade-offs. If the trade-off is too big for the benefit it gives you, you shouldn't use that attachment. So Gunsmith right really allows you to change the weapon entirely. With Gunsmith, you can build a setup that allows you to run fast, slide fast, and strafe fast. But that means your recoil will be extremely high. Or you can build a setup that has a very low recoil, but that means your movement speed and ADS speed will be extremely slow. Let's take a look at this KN44 loadout. This KN44 loadout has maximum movement speed and strafing speed. Look, I'm able to run extremely fast. I'm also able to strafe extremely fast. But look at my recoil. Look at my bullets. They are all over the place. It's very hard to control this recoil. Now, let's look at another KN44 loadout. This loadout has maximum stability. But look at how slow my running speed is compared to the previous loadout. Look at my strafing speed. I'm barely moving at all. If I am going to a face-to-face -face gunfight with someone, I'm screwed because he will be shooting at a target that's barely moving. It will just be target practice for him. But, look at my recoil. It is extremely low. In fact, there's barely any at all. So, Gunsmith is all about finding the right balance. The right balance between recoil, movement speed, damage range, and ADS speed. Now let's move on and try to build the best possible KN44 Gunsmith. In this video, I'll be assessing all the attachments and explaining why I choose one over the other based on my experience using them since yesterday. So, I'll be starting with what I think is the best attachment. The laser. The laser is actually what I feel the most important attachment because it gives you improved ADS speed and ADS spread accuracy at almost no cost at all. It doesn't reduce your accuracy, it doesn't reduce your movement speed, etc. etc. The only downside is that the laser is visible. The truth is, this is barely a downside at all. The laser is only visible when you are aiming down your sights. Take a look at this. Only when I am scoped in, is the laser visible to the enemy. At other times, when I am running, the laser is automatically switched off by your character. Your enemies will not be able to see the laser when you are running. The only scenario I can imagine whereby this can be a downside is when you are a camper. See, if let's say you camp there and it, if there is an enemy coming from the left side, he will be able to see your laser and know you are there. Otherwise, there is absolutely no negative effects from using a laser at all. We will now move on to what I feel is the second most important attachment needed in the gun, the rear grip. The rear grip we'll be choosing will be the stripped grip tape because it increases your ADS speed and sprint to fire speed by a lot. But here's where the problem comes in. It reduces your ADS bullet spread accuracy. Reducing your ADS bullet spread accuracy is a big no-no. Never let your ADS bullet spread accuracy go down. 
In fact, when you are done with your gunsmith, your overall ADS bullet spread accuracy must go up. Which means, for every one attachment that reduces your ADS bullet spread accuracy, you must equip two attachments that increases them. Otherwise, your gun will look like this. Are you able to see the red dot moving? That's called ADS spread, which means even if you are scoped in, your shots will not be accurate. Although it doesn't look too bad in short range, the problem comes in mid to long range. Look at how inaccurate my shots are because of the ADS spread. This, unlike your gun's recoil, cannot be controlled. That's why you cannot let your overall ADS spread be reduced. Up next, we have the underbarrel. In Season 8, we call it the foregrip. The foregrip we'll be using will be the strike foregrip. Not only does it decrease your vertical recoil, but more importantly, it increases your ADS spread accuracy. That is very important. Honestly, this attachment makes the gun very much easier to control. Alright, next we have the stock. The stock we'll be using will be the MIP Strike Stock. I feel that this stock is the best stock because not only does it improve your ADS spread accuracy, it improves your flinch stability and lateral recoil. Flinch stability means that in a gunfight, when your opponent shoots at you, you flinch less, allowing you to have a higher chance of winning the gunfight. This stock is also the only stock that reduces your lateral recoil. For all those of you who don't know what lateral recoil means, it basically means horizontal recoil, and you should know that horizontal recoil is uncontrollable. Hence, using an attachment that reduces your gun's horizontal recoil makes it much more easier to control. I know this attachment may seem like it reduces a lot of mobility, but trust me, your mo mobility at the end will still be decent and I feel that this trade-off is worth it. So we now have 4 attachments and here comes the hardest part, choosing the last attachment. In fact, this decision is so hard to make that I feel most of you will disagree with my choice. Ok, but let's get rid of those we won't be using first. Uh, you don't need an optics, iron sight works fine. Um, in my opinion, you, don't, you also don't need a muzzle. Now many of you may probably be thinking, Go for the magazine, the 38 round fast mag. You see, the thing is, I am honestly reluctant to choose it. Last time, before Gunsmith came out, we always choose the extended magazine because it gives us 8 more bullets at no cost. It won't decrease your ADS speed or movement speed. But in Gunsmith, using the 38 round magazine will decrease your ADS and movement speed. And decreasing both of them for just 8 bullets per magazine? I'm honestly not convinced you should put a 38 round magazine. The KN44 shoots 628 rounds per minute, which means that every second it shoots more than 10.46 bullets. This means an extra 8 bullets will give you only less than a second of extra ammo. I honestly don't think it's worth it. I would very much prefer going for a DWC Marksman Barrel. The Marksman Barrel once again helps improve ADS spread accuracy, but more importantly, damage range and lateral recoil. This increases the range of the gun and also makes the gun much more controllable. Remember, horizontal recoil is uncontrollable. Okay, looks like we are done. This is how my gun looks like at the end of Gunsmith. To sum up, my gun focuses a lot on accuracy, damage range, and recoil. In exchange, we lose a bit of movement speed. I feel that this trade-off is worth it. I mean, AR has a far slower strafe speed as compared to an SMG. So even if you are able to strafe slightly faster by not using the barrel or the stock, your strafe speed is still very slow. I feel that sacrificing strafe speed for more damage range and lower recoil is much more worth it. Of course, there are some things which I feel that you as players, you all will change, you all can substitute. 
most of you might swap out the stock or the barrel for the 38 round magazine. I feel that that's alright, perfectly fine. I mean sometimes that 8 extra bullets really can help a lot like if you are fighting 2 people at once or if some situations you don't have time to reload. I think that's a good substitute. For some people that perhaps you are not able to aim very well with iron sights, you might want to use an optics that is also another valid substitute. In that case, I highly recommend you swap out the barrel or the stock for an optics. Why the barrel or the stock and not the laser? Well, because if you swap out the laser, your ADS time will become very slow and you will take very long to aim down your sights. Alright, so let's take this gun to some matches. Now, I really want to show you some ranked games, but it is very hard to find a match now because Gunsmith just came out yesterday. People don't dare to go rank yet because they have still not figured out the attachments for their gun, so literally no one plays rank now. Uh, it took me more than 300 seconds to find a match just now, so uh, we'll just have to settle for some pups at the new map. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, I'm fucked. No, oh, there's nothing I could have done. Ah, uh, well, isn't it interesting? Like, no one is playing rank now because no one understands Gunsmith, so everyone plays pub matches. So now pub matches feels like rank. Yeah, look at how stable the gun is. Yeah, like I said, there's barely any recoil on this gun. Ah! Run, 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 run! Ah, there you are. Nope. Oof! Run, 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 run! Nope! Shit! Run, 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 run! Ooh, that katana. Oh well, that's a bot. Whoa, holy shit! Whoa, take my defender, bitch! Oh no, we lost. Alright, so just to sum up, my KM44 gunsmith has really good range, really low recoil, and very good control. Of course, movement speed is a little on the slow side, but I think it's pretty good. So do let me know about what you all think about my attachments and now I need to do the Cordite gunsmith because I use the Cordite for search and destroy. So hopefully you all can advise me on the Cordite as well. Thanks for joining me this video and goodbye. See you soon with the Cordite.